actually cheap without his helmet on. <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> now he's trying to get it. Now Here we go. Here we go. Oh, what? <laughs> the sky box. <laughs> I heard it's you need perfect. a pickup. Cortana to Kilo Actual. Perfect timing. We are all done here and ready for dust off. Hey, keep it oh, down. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. Let's go. <laughs> you like You're that. doing great. <laughs> You're doing great. You, like you keep That's driving true. like a tailor. <laughs> 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 Hey, you know, Chief, I'm it. nice on Get the sticks, but I would feel kind of bad beating the purveyors <laughs> of the Halo. That's right. I won't feel bad at all, don't worry. <laughs> Looks like a and I kind of want to see that lobby again, because I haven't been over there. Oh, all right. <laughs> see what you're doing. I like it. I like it. You like, you like that? Oh, really? Okay. This ring is going to go nuclear in three minutes, Early results. we do not want to be here when it does. Brian T on top. Halo has, the 343 team hasn't driven yet, so we'll have to see how they do. Roger that, Cortana. Hoorah! Look at these ancient dwellings. It almost looks like something lives here. The chaos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the get those trees awesome. here. We've got a better chance of avoiding those banshees off-road. They're saying Warthog seems a lot quicker now. Hoorah! So, oh, look at that! So Whoa, the... Banshees. So Chris Phillips, the handling designer at Playground, Ooh, yeah, he has done an amazing job. Not, just, uh, not only the, the Halo Warthog, but like all the cars on the roster. There was there was a time when you know I was tapping people on the shoulder, like, man, you know, do we have like an all new handling model because it's it's been improved so much. Really, it feels Banshees, really, really, really good. The Banshees, Warthog is actually one of the better models in the game. Well, you He's know, what? looking for. A beast. This is Cortana to all air support units. I'm sending you coordinates for an LZ, requesting immediate evac. Repeat, all air support units to the LZ. In the near and dear to my heart, we love to come up with canonical reasons for everything. Okay. Uh, I love this. <laughs> but uh, we actually did some cool stuff. The Warthog is scaled just a little bit differently. We actually have it modeled canonically as a uh, like a civilian transport kind of stripped down version as well. So the CST versus the FAV, uh, which typically has some uh, extra lethal accoutrements uh, up on the, uh, uh, you know, on the, on the back. Uh, but yeah, so there's, uh, it does, it is a little Crazy. faster. It is a little faster. But it's also a little bit smaller than yeah. a typical Yeah, it's around 20, 25 percent, right? I believe, uh, because, smaller. Because yeah. Spartans are like eight feet tall, right? That is the problem, yeah. yes, uh, is if you scale it uh, to a Spartan like we have to do in our games, uh, it really just looks like you have a bunch of four-year-olds <laughs> who can't reach uh, the wheel <laughs> driving a Hummer, yes. Yeah. <clears throat> Which, while hilarious. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> But I've seen some of the videos that uh, that you guys have of uh, people just sitting in the Halo, and they, you know, the thing is, uh, the, it's massive. It's massive. Oh yeah, it yeah. Is I, feel so like a, I do feel like a small yeah. child yeah. in the in the real life. We it showed was, it in that video oh, uh, look at ahead. That. Let's go! Oh my God, that is awesome. T, you're doing pretty well. I'm so yeah. jazzed that, about an this. Early, an early mishap, but I think you're making up for I, it. I want yeah. it to be competitive. Yeah, this feels good. Okay, intentional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nice. That's nice. Scarlet Pimple says, love the ring in the sky. They're looking, they're loving that authenticity. Do we have, uh, will Halo music be included? Uh, oh, is, is a we question. Also we also are, we'll hear yeah. the, the Halo it. track during this yeah. event. Yes. Wow. Well, oh. Yes. That's right. We do, we do have music turned off right now on the show just so we can hear the engines. He could be. <laughs> Now, this is where T uh, had some go. trouble right here. Oh, <laughs> man. same thing. We were dead. Now, you hit, got to hit the brakes oh. to back up. Oh, Squeeze the man. brakes to back up. There you there go. You there go. go. It's basically now a Formula One race. You just crash in the now, first turn. Yeah, you can't hit uh, the same uh, thing twice. 
Back up, reverse. Hold, back. hold the brakes. Hold the brakes. There you go. There, there you go. There we go. There. Cut, it, cut it right. Now we're good. Cut it right. 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 <laughs> uh, there we go. There you go. go. There we go. Yeah, there we go. There, there we, we go. go. We're good. Get that out of the way I early you. so you don't have to worry about it later. <laughs> now you got to get the speed I here. You. No, you gotta I no, love the Covenant we're Cruiser. Fine. We're fine. Oh, oh no. <laughs> it's camouflage. We needed, you can barely we see need it a little, uh, <laughs> need a little bit more speed. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. oh, wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> this is a trick. You guys are going to have to back up. You're going to have to back up get a bigger run on it. Uh, oh, actually, yeah. it's just going to let you... Maybe you, so I don't know. So one of Carlos's uh, favorite hobbies yeah. actually is cleaning oh, lobbies. Uh, <laughs> yeah, little known fact, little known fact. Uh, uh, here we go. I had oh. fun getting my car in here today. <laughs> yeah. Now you got to you gotta squeeze get that, that trigger and do not let go. There we go. Oh, I believe good. in you. We're yeah. good. Gas, gas, you got it. There you it got is. It. You got it. This I is believe gonna make it. That sand is super deep. Yeah, we're good. Yes. Oh, there it is. Yes. There it is. And flip. Style X. Let's go. Right. For style That's points. Fine. You definitely have the That's coolest fine. looking one. You're in the lead. Thank you. The style. This is not based on speed. <laughs> no, that's right. It's no. based on other factors. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, that's, we know what. That's true. Put your mind at the end. There we go. this bank? Oh, I think you're getting it now. I think you're getting it. There we go. All right. We don't have two hours, so I gotta. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now you have to be. Why within didn't the, the Forza stream go to 6 p.m. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Miss dinner tonight. <laughs> uh, so Jeff, for, for those of uh, uh, you know, if you don't know Halo, yep. what what are the vehicles flying in the sky? What other Halo universe vehicles are we seeing? So that's here? actually, uh, I love that question because the vehicles that are flying in this uh, in the sky are my favorite ones okay. actually in the universe. Those are Covenant Banshees. Uh, and so those are kind of like the, the small, nimble, essentially like nice. kind of like fighter craft uh, for, the, uh, for the Covenant Empire and some of the alien species that use it. And we're, we're we chasing go. after Sorry, I'm, I'm uh, a right. pelican. Really there we go. There we go. Oh, Love it. Nice. Speaking of banshees. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. we're chasing after a pelican. This particular pelican is a, a D-79 model. Okay. Uh, and, and again, it's one of the things... Uh, that we really like to have fun <laughs> with is, you know, different things will be visualized a little bit differently depending on the game and when it's set in the universe. So we actually have different model variants. Again, much like you would have, uh, you know, uh, uh, different model variants of a car, mm -hmm. you know, depending on the year, mm -hmm. depending on the trim of it. Uh, we actually put a lot of that same thought into it. Sometimes it's to help explain uh, just a sheer oh, art change, yeah, uh, yeah. but a lot of times it actually serves a narrative function uh, and purpose as well. But we always have a blast with it. But I imagine when they, when, is it, is it the idea of, hey, we've got a new variant on this vehicle, you need to come up with a re, a, 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 a cano canonical reason for that to exist? Or oh, do I you work in accordance with the team, or how does that work? <laughs> yes. Okay, it all, uh, it all. Yes, and usually it works. Okay. Period. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right. It actually, it's a, it really is a, a combination. We work with the artists. Uh -huh. uh, we work, so it could come from a necessity from the game team itself. Yep. From a gameplay perspective, we want this to have some different functionality. Mm -hmm. uh, it could come from an art direction, where we want this to look a little, little bit different or it could come from a narrative side as well where we actually specifically have a narrative or a story reason why we would want something to look be or feel a little bit different uh, so we really can actually come at it from uh, from all angles which is super nice it reminds me T of what we were talking earlier about how playground was very mindful of the setting very mindful of where we are in the world here yeah beautiful historic Britain when it came to choosing the cars that were in the game yeah I love that. All things are taken into account. Everything when we, is considered. Yeah. Jeff, I'm going to need you, buddy. I'm going to need you, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> is this an aggregate? I told you. Uh, oh, <laughs> look I told at this. You. This feels like a cross-country event. I love this. this I actually, fantastic. I'm super excited about like oh. like the length uh, they'll give you that uh, of the of the experience. It's yeah. super awesome. It's it's not some little sprint. I mean, you're no. going. Now, is the idea you get Chips you Dubbo is one of the other drivers. I've just now seen that. Oh, please. Oh, oh man, that was oh, super close. I know. I now I want to try to do that. People keep asking if we can hit sheep in the game. I want to know if you can hit those. Right? <laughs> I mean, it feels... Just take them uh, out for extra points. A warthog running through a sheep it's actually sounds a lot like your TV commercial. <laughs> That's right. Oh, man. And uh, what's funny is that uh, oh, 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 Halo, 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 well Halo fans paying attention, uh, we do have some 
some names from the Halo universe actually Ooh. as some of those alternate drivers yes. as well. Well, right. I think you acquitted yourself there at the end. You started off a little rough. <laughs> yeah. off it looked good. Features. It was a great, yeah. uh, great recovery. I wanted to show off more. So Solid recovery. Okay, so we, we've had one Forza person go. We've had a 343 person go. Shall we keep that order and I'll go next? Sure. Let's okay, do it. Let's go let's next. Uh, all right, your third look at the Halo Warthog Showcase event. I'm going to do my best here. Ter my goal Terrence is to not hit that right-hander, that, that, yeah. that obstacle. If I do that, I think I automatically win. <laughs> right? We'll see what we can do. Now, again, this is my first time playing this event. I intentionally, when, even when we were rehearsing this, yeah. we didn't want to see this event. We wanted yep. to experience it for the first time. Um, you should jump it off the cliff. It's cool. Yeah. Like, just, <laughs> yeah. Just <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, see? Real deliberate yeah, through there. See? I see that. Uh -huh. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, I'm nothing if deliberate and careful. All right, here we go. I believe. I believe. There it is. Do it. Well cleared. Yeah. Nice. Well cleared. See, not as much nice. style as Carlos had, but the, it's still intact here. All right. I so, was just staying true to Halo, just jumping. That's yeah. right. You just <laughs> got to plow through it. Um, one of the other things that I think people are noticing in this event, Jeff, is the fact that we've got uh, Cortana here. Yes. Tell us about Cortana. Who is Cortana and uh, what, what, what purpose is she serving here? Yeah, so uh, Cortana originally in the Halo universe is kind of a, uh, an AI companion to Chief mm -hmm. uh, and re is really there to help not only enhance uh, the abilities of, of Chief by providing real-time uh, you know, battleground information, but also the character kind of evolved into really having a personal relationship with the Chief uh, and their kind of friendship and working relationship really formed a really interesting emotional and narrative foundation for the series going forward. So it was, uh, in some ways, from a gameplay perspective, it was awesome to have somebody in your ear oh, helping you. Know, nice, uh, helping you to know like where certain enemies were, or what to do, uh, go to the next <coughs> checkpoint, or yeah. kind of how to tackle. But uh, also from a story players, and a world of, yeah. and immersion perspective, it was cool to kind of have this character uh, that went through you through several, uh, you know, that you went through several games uh, with. So. And just like my Master Chief, Cortana sort of become iconic, an iconic character for the Halo, ha yeah. Halo series. Yeah. No, ab absolutely, uh, and and uh, has come in many forms. Uh, mm -hmm. We've uh, we've seen her be your friend. We've seen her be otherwise. Mm -hmm. um, just like <laughs> a real relationship. Uh, you know, it's <laughs> you got ups and downs. What happens if you pass <clears throat> everybody? Mission successful, that's what happens. Um, I want the last name to be Carlos. <laughs> the fi yeah. final boss. <laughs> I love these hard light guardrails yeah, uh, here. Yeah, these are great. These are fantastic. Um, I'm sorry, Jeff, I, I'm sweating all over this controller. And oh, I'm yeah, sorry. To you. I'm going to hand yeah. it to you in mere moments. Mm -hmm. It's going to be like holding dying. on to an, an oil true. flick. I'm just going to grab it, the controller's going right. to shoot just to gonna the back. Fly out of your yeah. hands. But I thought I'd go first person here, just to give uh, everybody the more immersive Warthog experience. Which is funny because uh, oh, look at that. We, you know, you don't get to drive the Warthog in first person in Halo. That's right. Yeah, which That's is right. uh, which is always interesting. Well, I think I've only got it. Well, where am I? I'm at 80%. Uh, we see I'm little still known fact: more. Brian is yes. the Stig. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I'm the I'm the Master Stig. Master Stig, they call me. This People wanting to know when this is <laughs> set during the Halo lore. It's actually oh. set. Uh, 500 years before the events of Halo Combat Evolved. Uh, <laughs> is that, are you being serious? Do you guys have to <laughs> canonize this as well? I have to canonize everything that I'm asked in chat. It's in the contract. Is uh, that right? Yeah, it's, oh, it's I love it. something about that. That's fantastic. What a great question. <laughs> well, it certainly feels like a big, heavy machine. I will say that to you. This feels like what you would expect the Warthog to feel like. I want to say... It feels a little heavier than Forza Horizon 3. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and it's still got some punch, but you know, the Warthog's never been the fastest thing on four wheels, but it definitely no. feels solid. Yes. It felt like you could flip right, it you a lot. A, yeah. I think it's 323. Right. That's right. 323. Yeah. Oh, 3, 3, there is a time. Yeah, see, there we go. 323. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Okay. And to give Brian his proper props, <laughs> yep. I was 332. Okay. Okay. So Carlos, he you were was, he was, he was, I was right around that. Yeah, yeah. Right around yeah. <laughs> that was pretty close. He said yeah. 332, 330 as well. Yeah. 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 An additional three. Yes, yeah. and, and, and an additional one. Uh, Alan, Alan, more features Alan Hartman more called. Content, so. Alan Hartman called. He just said he'd be available to bring his GT in for a polishing in the next week or so. Okay. Oh, yeah. uh, I, I, would, I would make myself available for that. Um, but what's weird is I actually have to take it home. Oh, uh, yes, to, got to, it. To, to, you know, yeah. wouldn't want to mess up the, the actual lobby. Okay, right, one so final time with our 
our man Jeff All right. here, Let's who's going to take the final tour of the Halo Showcase Jeff, event. No pressure. No, no pressure. pressure. Let's go. Let's no go. pressure. I think you're going to do just fine. One miss that uh, first, that right-hander, that block, you'll yeah. be fine. You're in good shape if you miss that. Or on, tag uh, it. Or tag it. And beat Brian's time that's, to make a statement. Yeah, that's right. If you could hit that <laughs> and beat my time, I'd be impressed. <laughs> so, again, right. this is the first time looking for Jeff. Good. All right. We're looking good. So, Carlos, I'll turn yes. to you as Jeff. Yeah. I won't talk to him because he's driving. Yes. Um, when you think about, um, you know, we saw that video at the top mm -hmm. where we were talking yeah. about bringing the Halo, uh, sorry, bringing the Warthog into Forza Motorsport 4. Yeah. Um, can you talk a, about what that relationship is like? I mean, obviously both first party studios yeah. within Microsoft. Yeah. Um, how do those, what's that exchange of ideas like? What's that process like? Well, it's super collaborative and it's, I mean, working with the Forza team, working with Playground for us is it's awesome. It's an, a dream opportunity always. So mm -hmm. it's really <clears throat> seamless and collaborative and with all the ideas that are really inspiring and big that, I mean, we're all on board with all of it. Right. So it's really just you know, partnering and helping as much as we can. It's a lot of fun. I bet that there was a lot of discussion, T, about where this event should take place. I mean, starting on the beach, you were saying that has a history with with the Horizon. Yeah, series. we we well we, we we thought it would be neat <laughs> to uh, come back to the beach because we had the bucket list event in Horizon Three right for the start. And um, as you've seen um, through the route, you get a mix. You, you know, I, t I talked earlier about like th that mix of surface types. Mm -hmm. You know, we take you through a tunnel, so you hit tarmac, you start on the sand, you get the formable tech that we built. Um, and then you made the comment of loving, loving, loving how off-road it feels. Yeah. So the route was, was one where we were trying to pick literally the optimal route to not only give you like the perfect dose of Halo, but we also wanted to give you a really, really, this is a showcase event. Absolutely. So we wanted to showcase all the surface types, you know, during the event. So you get to smash through some walls, um, you know, even like, you know, the, the time, we, we, we labored over like what, even what season this event should, should be in. Ah. Um, because. Uh, Can we do it in different seasons? So seasons change everything. <laughs> oh. And you know, once you go through. It's good back of the box. Oh, I love that. Yeah, <laughs> if, you go, if you go through, once that. you go through a, a, a full, you know, um, series of events, we co these events will come back, the showcase of events will come back in, in flavors that we call remixes. Okay. You know, so. Um, You'll see this event, um, it, it has an amazing feel in winter. And you know, uh, I bet. I'm, I'm kind of saying that because wow, did I think it really looked good there. Right. But it, it also looks amazing, you know, in the spring this, and in the summer. Yeah. You know, so um, you get to choose, you know, so eventually, you know, you'll, you'll of course all the four seasons and then, you know, decide which one is your favorite flavor, mm -hmm. so. Well, I like what I'm seeing here, Jeff. Oh, oh, no. oh no! Oh no! That might be it. Did you think you could oh, smash it? That, that yeah. was oh, the idea. Oh, oh. blocks bullets. <laughs> I know. We talked about this. Oh, oh man. my lord! It was a pretty seamless run. Oh, we were setting up the ultimate comeback. <laughs> Come on. We planned. <laughs> my jump was planned. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You meant to Jeff do that. was gonna just. Rip through it. Oh, well, you know what? Other uh, than that moment, it's okay. you've been doing pretty well. I just well. really, really like the cars in your lobby. <laughs> uh, well, you might be seeing them up close and personal, That's depending on how this goes. <laughs> I think he had a pretty. He had no, a pretty he did pretty well. He, 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 he did very well. Do not miss Don't that. Don't miss that. Yes, yes you're good. Excellent. Well done. All right. Well, across the line. Uh, let's see where we ended up. Was it better than a 330? Uh, was it 330? 